Hi, good morning. Welcome to mydesignews.com SQL training video. In today's class, I am going to explain how to connect uh, different tables in different databases uh, by in a single query. For all this, uh, so before going to work, let me give an description of how I am going to work. See, I have two databases that is Adventure Works and MyDesignews. In the Adventure Works, I had one table. Mm, it's a uh, human resources dot department. I, I made a copy for the same table in the my days news database that has as a department. So here what I, I need is that I need the result from this table. I need some columns from this table and I need some columns from uh, adventure work database. Adventure Wars database from Human Resources Department. So before going to the how we are going to connect each database is there. So whenever we use uh, whenever we call the records from a table, we, we use a syntax such as select right star from first we, we need since we are in the same server we will not be calling the server. So first we will be writing the server name dot next database name database name dot schema name name dot table name okay this is a what a uh, general structure for uh, calling a table from different server and if we if we link the two tables from two different server we will be calling uh, by using the server name and if we if we can if we use the tables from the same uh, different database from on the same server then we will be using database name schema name and table name and we if we call the same uh, two tables from the same database then we will be using the schema name and table name okay and if you don't have any schema and if you use the same tables without uh, that is a by default schema is dbo so if you use a dbo then we can directly call by the table name okay so now currently let's see the data in both the tables adventure rules, tables and if we uh, select the top thousand rows then we will be displaying that we will be getting the data Closing this. So here we got department ID name group name and next we add uh, same since I have um, copied the same table to my uh, my this news dot com so this is a department and if I do the same uh, select task same uh, select top top thousand rows then see here you can see I got my date this in news schema name is uh, DBO and the table name is department. Here also you got the same thing. My adventure was human resources department. Okay. So now let me explain. I'll be copying the same query. Control C. And if I run, okay, I'll be getting result. Okay. And I will be keeping one by adding new query and paste this. Instead of that, what I will do? I'll uh, remove this department. Okay. Not department. I will remove the server name. Sorry, database uh, adventure was. Okay. Now if I run the query, since this is what it shows by default in the which database we are running this, okay? So when we run this, the table doesn't exist in valid object name because in the master database we don't have this. Since I am master database, I'm, I need I need to get the result from different, I need to use the access the table from different database. So what I will do, I will give the database name and the table name. And when I run this, then I will get the result, okay? I'll remove the top thousand row because it has more than a thousand with cost. And here, if I want to use the same data table, okay, from the mydesignews.com, so what I will do, in the join, see, what is the table name? Database name is mydesignews. So by default, it is showing, it, it is called intelligence, okay. When we type, uh, if we add the or any object, with that start with that name then we will get all the list of objects mydesignews.com since it is a uh, default schema so we will be using dbo dot 
it's a department table right so department we got it. so inner join on what condition do we need to inner join that we need to inner join on so i'll be uh, i'll be using uh, uh, alias for this table i'll be using this as adventure world department ad and this one i'll be using my days in news department okay here on what because we need to join the table based on the primary key so i'll be joining this tables on ad dot department id equal to md dot department id so i got it and here since uh see now we will get an error because bo both the tables have the same columns name right so both the tables have the same column name and we'll be getting the error see so both the table have the same because here this table uh, department from the adventure works has the department id and here uh, my days in use uh, the database department as a also as a department id so here it will be getting confused which uh, column from which table should it uh, display here so it is showing ambiguous column then department id because whenever we get this ambiguous uh, column error it means that this column exists in these two tables one is the adventure world department and the other is the my days in use so which one should be to the system call so what we do to solve this problem we'll call that column name by this alias ad so this is a ad i need this column from ad department database and i need this column to be called from same ad database sorry ad table that is adventure database and i need to call this one by using my destination database okay So when I run this now, I'll not be getting the error because this group name, I this this both group name and modified it. I'm getting from uh, my days in use department, and this both uh, columns, this first two columns, I'm getting from adventure work department table. This is a way how we connect uh, tables uh, from different databases in a single query. And if if the both if the two tables are located on different server then we'll be calling instead of using this database name before this we'll be add the server name dot so when we use the two tables from different servers then we call as a linked server query okay link server means whenever we use the queries from different uh, query sorry whenever we use the tables from different servers since this is both the table now currently i'm working on the two database on the same server so in the in your office you may be required to get the uh, to join the table from different servers then you will be using the server name dot so that process is called a link server okay so basically whenever you connect uh, the link server the server should be added in your system databases that is uh, i think the dba they are going to add them so first with the, the basic thing if you if you are good with this then it's okay to work on the tables in your query where you will be getting a, a column from different uh, tables from different databases okay Thank you very much. Have a good day.